Mavenir is providing its IMS core and access solution to the Deutsche Telekom NIMS project, as well as supporting automation via APIs. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and to explain more, I'm joined by David Nix, who is Senior Sales Engineer at Mavenir. Hello, David. Very good to see you again. Tell me more about the role of Mavenir in the NIMS project. Thank you, Guy. So Mavenir provides the NNV-based IMS core and access SBC for Deutsche Telekom fixed uh, customers. Uh, by that, we also uh, integrate to, to the automation framework by using VNF Manager and Element Systems that expose the APIs to the know about to the systems. And why does Mavenir support NIMS and, and why is it a game changer for Deutsche Telekom and indeed in all likelihood for other telcos? So this automation and observability framework that enables CI/CD continuous integration, continuous deployment. In this way, new features, software, and configurations can be rolled out in much shorter timeframes without a human touch. This changes the game uh, to go faster to the market in case you need to launch new features, but also if you need to deploy security patches or latest software patches that can all be done in an automated way without going through long test cycles and validation cycles. And how has NIMS changed the product delivery and work processes? Yeah, so for example, in maintenance packages are faster delivered by applying the end-to-end -end CICD working principles. This uh, enables automated uh, regression testing, which saves resources and quicker time to production. But overall, there are no maintenance windows. Uh, we are avoiding night shifts and therefore, therefore be more cost efficient as well. Uh, the automation uh, reduces the, the errors as well eh, because there is less human intervention in this whole process. So what do you personally think is the strategic importance of NIMS? So NIMS will be the first application on the new cloud that has all the benefits from the automation and the advanced observability uh, framework like detailed analytics. Many applications can then follow the NIMS and since, since NIMS builds the foundation for this, we can port more and more applications into that. Deutsche Telekom can port more and more applications onto the NIMS. Also, uh, NIMS provides the operational readiness by putting in place the organization that you need for that, like DevOps, the processes and all the procedures around that. So, David, if we look forward a few years, how do you think platforms in the Telco core network will be built in, say, 2023? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I think <clears throat> in the current deployments, uh, there's still a lot of uh, physical network functions and virtualized network functions that will stay with us for a couple of years, right? And we believe uh, these functions uh, need to evolve to become uh, containerized network functions. This uh, allows to move away from the monolithic applications and uh, you can then refactor them into microservices. Well, David, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the program. And for the complete picture on the NIMS project, please do take a look at the other videos we have in this series. There are seven interviews in total, plus two panel discussions. And watch out for news of our live Q&A programme. That's coming soon. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye.